Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows 8.1 lesson. And this is a tips video, uh, second tips video that uh, we will offer. Um, now that we've talked about um, mail and Internet Explorer going on the web, uh, one of the options in Internet Explorer that a lot of secure websites will ask, for example, if you do your online banking, and even some online stores will actually ask you to do this. To be really secure, most bank and online store sites will ask you after you've logged out of your session to delete your browser history and cookies. So we're going to show you how to do this in Windows 8.1, both on the Metro version and on the desktop version of your browser. So how do you delete cookies and history and information in the Metro or modern version of Internet Explorer 11? What you need to do is click on your browser. Once it's open, go to the charms bar on the right side of the screen, either by swiping if you have a touch device or going into the corners with your mouse if you don't have a touch computer. Go into settings and click options. Here, if you go down on that little panel on the right side, you have history and you have select browsing data, such as cookies and history you want to delete from your PC. You'll click select. And here you see cached images, cookies, browsing history. You can also do uh, delete download history, saved from data and saved, same form data, sorry, and saved password. Also, tracking and protection, ActiveX filtering, and do not track data. So you select what you want, and most of the secure websites, like banking sites, uh, basically what you'll want to uh, actually choose here in this history select. Sorry here, I've uh, been, I've had a little problem with my pad. So uh, once you're in your browser, once again, I'll show you again so that you can see. So you go into your settings, you go into your options, and so uh, you go down to the history, you click select. So like I was saying, when you are in your uh, options, the bank accounts, what the uh, the bank websites actually to be secure what they want you to do when you log out of your session is mostly just remove cached images cookies and browsing history that's enough that's what they want you to uh, get out and take out of your browser if you want to feel more secure you can delete the history safe data and etc etc et download history safe form data and safe passwords but it's not necessary. So you just put the check marks where you want and you click delete. And this is going to delete all of that information. So you see that little delete. And here it says the data you selected was deleted. So that's for the modern version of Internet Explorer 11. What about the desktop version? If you're using the desktop version, click here for the desktop version, how do you do the same simple all you have to do is go into your little pinwheel or the tools on the upper right side of your screen just below the red X and there you will have in this area something called safety and here you have delete browsing history you can click that and you'll see temporary internet files cookies website data history and so this can be deleted right here. Just put the check marks once again and click delete and it's going to delete. Now one word of caution. Uh, from what I've seen, it seems that some of the information on the desktop and on the new Metro version of Internet Explorer are not shared. What that means is if you went banking on the desktop version, and six hours later, you went banking on the modern Metro version, you'll have to delete that information on each browser. 
because some of the info is not shared and is not located in the same place. So if you want to make sure, if you use both browsers, then do both browsers separately. So that's how you get your information deleted, especially when you're using your computer for banking. Uh, I recommend this for any banking sites and also if you have online, if you buy online on different websites, it's, uh, I believe it's a good idea to delete all of that information to make sure that your computer is safe and that nobody can use that data to try and uh, basically hack you or try to uh, do a phishing site that will uh, basically use that info to, you know, kind of against you. Um, it's not that anyone can really steal much of information. The problem is more into the security of the phishing websites. Um, an example I can give is that if you go to a bank website and you don't delete the history, you're not at risk of getting act into your bank account but you are at risk of having a phishing scam that will be directed more towards you. So for example, if you uh, go to uh, Bank of America and don't delete, if you get to a phishing site that tries to um, kind of steal your data, if it sees that you go to Bank of America well, it's going to try to put a fake Bank of America page. So the chances are stronger that you might get um, a phishing site that will be the one that your bank, of your bank that you're using. If you don't, um, if you basically delete the information, what's going to happen is if you get to that same phishing site, then it cannot see what bank you went to. So it's going to just send you a random bank which has a good chance of not even being the one you are uh, using. So um, hope you understand a little bit here. Anyways, big security, big, big, big security thing. Never, 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 never give personal data or information of uh, to a bank site that you've got. Uh, if you have some kind of problem or if they say that they need you need to uh, give them a password or anything, then what you need to do is call your bank and deal directly on the phone with them or go to your uh, branch office and go directly in person and deal with them in person. Never give out any personal data over the internet. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to our channel. You will be notified every time we have new lessons and new tip videos if you have comments questions maybe a suggestion why not ask away i'll try to help you and uh, hopefully you enjoy our lessons and if you just stumbled here uh, this is a complete windows 8.1 lessons channel we're slowly going through lessons so now we've uh, at this point i've got almost 20 videos online for lessons, so 20 lessons videos, and two tips videos, so uh, you can uh, learn how to use Windows 8.1, the web, and uh, email easily in Windows 8.1. So hope that you enjoy our videos and that you'll come back to this computer lessons channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.